Hello YouTube, the Atari 2600 fan here again doing a DeLorean model review. Today I am reviewing the the um, stainless steel Sun Star DeLorean model, 118 scale. Now I got this for three dollars at a yard sale, and I've seen this car go on eBay for, go for like fifty nine dollars, sixty bucks. I've even thought for like a hundred and twenty. So I think I could, I think I got a good deal by talking them down to three dollars on it. But I need to admit it wasn't in perfect condition. One of the windshield thingies are gone, and one of the tires popped off when I was trying to move it onto a shelf. But, I glued them back on, except for that, because that just wasn't there, period. And, if I had to sell this, I'd probably have to sell it for $50 still, because it's not in perfect condition, but it's still in great condition. Now, just because I say that's how much I'd want it for, that doesn't mean it's for sale. This car is not nor will it ever be for sale or trade. Not even for an Atari Air Raid cartridge. Okay, maybe for that, but still. Alright, but anyway, let's talk about the car. As I already mentioned, this is the 118 Sun Scale DeLorean model. This is an 81 DeLorean, and it's obviously not the one from Back to the Future. It is a real DeLorean, and for the first time, this is actually the only DeLorean model I know of, or even have, that if you open up the back hood, you can actually reveal the engine. Most of them just usually just stop there, like my Hot Wheels set, and you can't see the engine. Now, unless you can actually can pull that up in the Hot Wheels version, I, it's really hard to, and I don't even think you can. But anyway, that could open. Both doors are openable. They're, they can be opened. And you can also open up the hood. So this is pretty much the only car I have that is actually meant to be a DeLorean model. Not like some crappy toy. Now, this one right here was meant to be a collector's item. This is from Back to the Future Part 1, it's the Welly set. And, I have to admit, compared to this one right here, this one is a freaking toy. Like, if I had to play with any of these, it would probably be this one. I mean, like, not saying I do play with toys, I never really did, but if I had to, I'd use this one. I mean, like, look how big this is, this is this one is compared to that. I mean, like, look how crappy this one looks, uh, this one looks compared to that. Not that one compared to this, this one compared to that. Now you're all confused. Ha ha ha. Alright, but anyway, yes, this is still a good car, but this is just one I'm, I'm going to take out of the box a lot more and just roll around when I'm bored. This one is going to stay on the shelf and barely be touched because I don't want to take any risk at breaking it. Let's talk into the detail about the car though because I know, I know what you wanted to hear. Alright, unlike many DeLorean models, this one actually features the DMC logo on the front. Now a lot of them aren't licensed so they don't have DMC written on it or they just thought it would be cheaper not to put it there so they just didn't put it there. But this one actually has DMC written there on the tires, and on the back right there, and on the license plate. So that's pretty much all you can ask for for a little model. Also on the back, you have the little tail lights, and they are very true to the original DeLorean. They look very real, and they look like they do light up. For the front of the car, you have the front lights again, and I know that one DeLorean model, there are actually stickers you have to put on. Yes, the company was that cheap not to do it. But anyway, the, again, the lights do look like they light up, but don't be fooled. There's no battery slot or button to make them work. It's just meant to look there to be cool. Alright, let's talk about the inside. The inside of the car is basically what you'd expect for a DeLorean model. There's basically the steering wheel, the... The um shift the stick shift, the shift, whatever it's called, and the gas mileage and stuff. Basically what you'd find in any other ordinary car. The windows on it are plastic, as you'd expect, they're not glass or anything. I guess that's supposed to be a safety reason, so if you drop it and it breaks, there's not gonna be a bunch of glass all over the place. Also, because it's um plastic windows it is very easy to push them out. Hopefully that won't happen with mine though. And unlike this Wellies model right here, there actually are no windows in it. The only part there's windows in it are the um, front right here. 
so that's about it for that. But anyway, that's just about it for this review. I know that there's a lot of stuff I missed about this car, like in this one the wheels actually can turn and everything. And that's just about all I missed. But anyway, this is my review of the um, DeLorean Sunstar model from Sunstar, obviously. The 118 scale. I highly recommend it if you have the money. And if you find it at a yard sale, pick it up. It'll look cool on anyone's shelf. Even if you're not a movie collector or a car collector, or you just don't like the DeLorean period, it's still a great car to have, even if you're not a fan of any of those things. I give the car a 10 out of 10. I love it, and I highly recommend it. Thank you for watching.